The absolute bottle jobs of Leeds United are back, as just ended Coventry City 2, Leeds United 1. And I'm not happy, and I don't care where people say, you know, oh, you're overreacting. With This is our first game we've lost in April. It doesn't matter that since April or since the start of the year. It, it doesn't matter right now, because these are the times where we need to win games. Other teams around us are dropping points, and we don't have that edge. That's why we've never got further away to Ipswich or to Leicester, because we don't have that sort of bottle. We're a bottle job FC disgrace today. Uh, before we do get into the Legion United match reaction, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new as well, and comment your thoughts on today's game. I'm absolutely furious of what I watched today, to be fair, because just we started off so brightly into it. We just let Coventry City bully us. And the thing is, I, I thought today the pitch was massive. And we didn't use the spaces. I don't know why we didn't. And also sometimes I, I struggle to see what the actual game plan is sometimes with, with this side. I think we're kind of like moment. We're a moments team. We're a Man United where we think that something might happen. And we just give it to Somerville or give it to Rutter. And Rutter today, I've, I've had enough of him at the moment. He The last sort of three, four games, he has been atrocious. Decision-making, I don't care how many nutmegs you can do. Decision-making has been absolutely disgraceful from Jorginho Rutter. Patrick Bamford, I don't know how sometimes he is a footballer. Honestly, he's not good. Somerville had a, a quieter game and to be fair, we weren't we weren't awful come that second half, but we're already two goals down and I know people are going to think this is an overreaction. Yes, fair enough if I've got this reaction in February, but with five games to go now after losing and Ipswich losing as well, that time to push on and get points and get three points and just, you know, get further away. We don't and that's why it's a bottle job performance. I don't want anyone telling me it's not today because... You know, we had our strongest 11. We had Gruev back in the team. What was the excuse? You know, there was no excuse today. First goal that we conceded inside 10 minutes. It's just awful goalkeeping from Melier. Yes, he might have kept the most clean sheets this season, but I don't think he is, you know, I don't think he's all that. I really don't. I think he should be doing better for that goal. I really, really do. Um, and and they, they score a goal. And obviously it's typical Leeds. We have chances, but not really many at all. And, and annoyingly, you know, we, we go in one nil at half time, then then 10 minutes into the second half, they just go get a second. It's just a lovely ball over the top and, and they stuck it away. And like I say, I normally like to, you know, compliment Coventry and I will compliment Coventry because even when I think the reverse fixture, I think we only just beat them um, or maybe it was a draw. I can't remember either way. I thought they were brilliant. I thought they were a number nine away from from something special. And Ellis Sims came in today and, you know, the second half, he didn't have many touches, but he didn't have to do anything because I, I, I just thought today Leeds was slow with everything. And like, you know, we're losing the game and you've got Ampadu and Joe Roden just holding onto the ball at the back. And I'm like, how many times today did we try and cross it in when, what's the point? You know, and then, then pop shots from Ruta and I'm like, what are you doing, man? Like, what are you doing? Furpo puts an absolute ball on a plate. That's another thing as well. Set pieces from the right-hand side or left-hand side. How do we not know who's taking it? I mean, come on. They're, Connor Roberts is looking at Somerville, then he's looking at Nonto. They're all looking at each other thinking, who's taking this corner? Like, come on, man. Jesus Christ. Like, it's it's, it's basic stuff. And I'm, I'm disappointed today because... I'm not saying it should have been three points necessarily because it's a tough place to go. And, you know, there is pressure with six games to go. But that was one bottle shot performance from Leeds United. That was the most Leedsy sort of performance I've seen under Daniel Farker. I thought Daniel Farker broke that curse of the Leedsiness, but clearly not. That, that, was just, it just, it just, I don't know. I really don't know at all because I was laughing. I think we were all laughing watching that Ipswich Norwich game thinking, oh, Ipswich don't look very good at all. They're not even turning up for their big fixture. What about us? We're too busy focusing on other teams. I think that's what the problem with this, this, this team is. I think we are. I think we're too busy focused about what's going on around us. Apart from Daniel Farker says that he doesn't look at the game till you know the the table till game forty two or whatever he says. Let's start looking, shall we? Because come on, like what? I, I just think. You know, we, we have had a fantastic season, a fantastic 2024, but it means nothing when you put performances in like that today. And like I'm not sitting here and saying Leeds United are the worst team in the league. Of course I'm not. Coventry are a decent side. And I'm not sitting here saying the whole season's been bottle jobs. Ollie, you're overreacting. I'm overreacting with this result because there's five games left of a season where it's the tightest it's ever been in, a, in championship history. And we're putting in performances like that. And we're losing games like 
that on paper, this team shouldn't be losing. And at the end as well, when we chuck on Mateo Joseph, Nonto, there's Ruta up there, there's Somerville, there's Piro, there's, uh, you know, that there's six or seven attackers. They're just getting in each other's way. And it's a lazy tactic that Daniel Farker does. It's absolutely lazy from him. There's no sort of, let's just chuck every attacker on and see what happens. Obviously, Piro scored lovely little finish and then he could have and should have scored at the end as well like it was a very very tame effort I actually thought Perot coming on he was all right to be fair and you know that that's the first time in a long time that I thought Perot just looks he he, he looks like the only one that was picking up the ball in space and using the space a lot of these players today just I don't I don't I can't I can't put a, like a put, point a finger to what exactly went wrong today is what I'm trying to say but it just didn't go right it really, really didn't go right. It seemed like the pressure got to us. Like That's why I keep referring back to bottle job. Um, going through the team like I always like to do. Melier. I don't know, man. Not for me. Uh, I just I just don't think. He's, he's just not for me anymore. He's, he's, he's not. Like, I just don't. I didn't have much to do. And everyone keeps saying when he doesn't have much to do and he's kept 17 clean sheets or whatever it is. But he hasn't done anything to earn him. Yes, he's made a few saves here and there, but I think he's replaceable. I really do. Uh, Archie had one of his quieter games today. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to fully batter him. I'm not going to batter anyone, really, because look, look where we are on the table. But, you know, Joe Roden and Ampadu were okay. I just thought they kept onto the ball way too long. Furpo actually had an all right game. You know, he put hell of a crosses in, like, in how many times did he have to put a decent cross in for someone to put the ball in the back of the net? Bamford had chances. That one at the end where it just bounced for everyone. And, Furpo stood there like that. Like, what else do you want me to do? It's on a bloody plate. I've left your cutlery. I've left your cutlery there. All you have to do is put it in your mouth. Not the ball, the food. It's, it's an analogy. Uh, in the midfield, for Grev wasn't very good. I thought he was all right. Kamara, not for me at the moment. I just not seem to be working. Some of them had a quieter game. Got into it in the second half. Rutter, terrible. Terrible again. I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I just don't think we need that type of player right now. Like, I know how good he is, and I want him to start every game, but he's a moments player, and he just does too much. He does too much. And there, I've been saying it for a long time. I love Rutter. I love what he's doing, but there's a reason that that XG, he's only got five goals, whatever, because the shots are awful. And yes, he got another assist today. It's crazy. He did. But I just don't... I think his overall play is just infuriating when you're losing. Can I just say that? Uh, Dan James wasn't very good at all. Bamford, the, the same. Oh, it's just another one of them days, isn't it, where Leeds United just can't seem to capitalise on a loss from a rival team up there. But at the end of the day, you know, we've got five games to go and the games don't get easier. That's the thing with Leeds United. The games do not get easier. Ipswich have been, let, uh, you know, a lifeline. I don't even know what the final Leicester score was. Let me see what the final Leicester score. Obviously, you guys will know. At this point, I know they were drawing at half time. If I mean they drew, that that helps Leeds. I know you guys already know the score, but of course, Leicester one two one. So that's what I mean. We have bottled it, guys. If you <laughs> if you, if you uh, enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment your thoughts on today's game. I'm furious. Leeds United lose their first game in 2024, and it could be a big one to bite them in the ass for this promotion race. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheery.